Laura here. I'm here today to do a non-spoiler review of two books. The first one is Paper Towns by John Green, and the second one is I Was Here by Gail Foreman. I want to apologize in advance. I have a small cold, so if my voice sounds a little bit weird, that's why. Um, but I'm going to focus. The first, the first one I'm going to do is Paper Towns by John Green. I gave this book four and a half, five stars. I really liked it. I thought it was really interesting. Um, and I'll get to that in a few minutes, but I can't, I, I mean, I liked Fault in Our Stars a lot. So to this, it was, um, it wasn't as <coughs> amazing as Fault, but I really did like it. The book basically starts out with this guy named Q, who is in his senior year of high school and he lives next door to this girl, um, and they're next door neighbors. They've lived, they've lived across the street. They've lived next door to them basically their whole lives, um, and they have like some types of connections in the past. And um, one night, she shows up at his bedroom window and says, "We're going on a road trip, or we're going to do ten, eight or ten things in the evening, and you have to come with me." And they do these ten things, and they have a great night. Um, and then um, the next morning he goes to school and he finds out Margo's missing. Um, and the whole book is basically him trying to find her. Because throughout this whole process he's loved this girl his whole life basically. And it's him trying to find her. But the question is, um, who really is Margo? Everyone has their own opinions of Margo and who Margo is and he has the same exact thing. But it's really about finding the real Margot. And I thought it was really interesting the way that they did it because these two people had one night together and that, like, impacted so much. Um, and I thought it was a really interesting way to tell a story because you only saw Margot for, like, the first six chapters and then it was, like, the progression to find her. I won't spoil the ending. I won't tell you what happens. But um, I really liked it. I thought it was really interesting. I, um, there's, there's, there's a few different road trips that happen in the book. So it was a great, like, road trip book. Like, it's just, like, you know, and there's a bunch of cool characters. John Green really writes te <coughs> teenage teenagers really, really well. And I always like that. I think they're very, very realistic. I think in this book especially, the parental relationships are also really interesting. Like, how parents related, like, how Margot's parents related to her, and then how Q's parents related to her. I also like the honesty of the friendships that were told. Like, how honest these characters were together. Like, I love the character of Ben. I love Radar. I love Becca. I just thought there was a nice, like, little, like, quite, you know, it was, it was just nice characters that were developed. And I thought that was so, so cool. Um, and I know in um, a few months, it's coming out in a movie. And I know Nat Wolf's playing the lead. And Nat, like, Nat Wolf was in Vault in Our Stars. And I really, really liked his acting. So I'm excited to see what he does with it. I also was finally able to watch a trailer. And it actually looks really, really, um pretty good so I'm excited to see that when it comes out in July or June I think it comes out in June so I'm excited to, so that's why I wanted to read it so I gave it four stars um I liked where the book was set I liked the whole concept of paper towns and I thought that was really interesting like read more to find out more about it but um it was just it was really cool and I think for me the really cool part was that um the you know it says on the back of the book um Basically, Margot leaves him clues, and she's done this before, but no one has ever been able to find her because the clues are so vague, but the reality is she left him clues knowing he wouldn't really find her, and I thought that that was so interesting because what happens when you go missing and you don't want to be found, and I thought that was another really interesting part of the book, but I think the thing that really, it was a really, really fast-paced book, like, the book takes place over, like, three weeks, so it was really, really fast-paced, like, I wanted to know what happened, so I had to finish it. Um, John Green is just a really, really good writer. So if you have read anything by John Green, I highly recommend it. Um, it's a really, really strong novel. Um, I'm gonna try to read Looking for Alaska at some point this summer because I have it. And I know that that's the next one that's gonna be made into a movie. And I also would like to read Abundance of Catherine's and Will Grayson, Will Grayson. But those are just my initial thoughts on it. If you want, like, a spoiler review, I don't mind doing it. Um, just comment below and I'll try to do it this week or next week. But now I'm going to move on to Gail, to reviewing Gail Foreman's I Was Here. Hi guys, I'm here to, to review Gail Foreman's I Was Here. 
Um, this is a non-spoiler review, but if you want a spoiler review, comment below. I don't mind doing it. Um, I just wanted to get my initial thoughts out there. I really like this book. I gave this book five stars. This is a criticism I have. Well, not really a criticism. A comment I have about all Gail Foreman's books. They're too short. So, like, whenever I get to the end of the book, I want to know more. And I want to know more what happens. That makes her a really good writer. I just want to know more. I want, like, a sequel to this book following Cody. And I'll get into that in a little bit. But I really gave it five stars. Basically, this book is about this girl named Cody, um, and she wakes up one morning, or she, she gets an email from her friend one morning telling her she's committed suicide. Cody doesn't know what to make of that, but she finds out it's true, and her friend has sent this on, like, a delay, so she gets the letter, like, two days after she actually has passed away, after she's killed herself, um, and Cody's... Cody's basically is on this mission to go back to where she goes to school because she was away at college to figure out not only what happened, but also what compelled her to do this. And she is very, very broken throughout this entire book. It's almost like she's not like a real character to me. Like, she was very much broken. I know um, in my previous review of this thing, I talked about um, John Green's Paper Towns. And in that book, a character said a line, and I think it really, really sums up this character really well. She's like, all her strings broke. And that's exactly how I saw Cody in this book. Because she was so broken and so devastated that I don't really think she really had a character. Like, it, I know that, that that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I really liked it. I just thought it was really interesting. And that's kind of why I would love to see a book from after this happened, like after the conclusion of this, because I would love to see, like, what this, what this experience affected her and how she changed or how she grew because I think that her character would be really interesting but she was really really traumatized throughout this and I think she felt so guilty because she didn't notice the signs um so so basically she goes up on, on the search trip she goes back up to town and she meets all of Meg's friends and she um basically learns a lot about um Meg through all these friends and she's like just she it doesn't make sense and I guess I'll, okay, I'll still give you one spoiler. There was people that were, like, and I'll just say they weren't the best influence on her, and that's what Cody finds out. So Cody's on this journey to figure out what compelled her to commit suicide. And it's a really, really complicated book, um, and it has Cody do all these things that she wouldn't necessarily do, meet all these people she wouldn't necessarily meet, this book is really the definition of, like, a finding yourself novel because it really was because I don't think Cody really had an identity before she, it, she had her own identity when she had Meg. You know, Cody's mom wasn't really around all the time, but Cody, but Meg's parents were. So, like, I felt like when she lost Meg, she kind of lost herself and she lost, like, her family because she couldn't go over there. She felt so guilty. Um, I thought that that was, like, so interesting. Um... But I really like the honest, again, I'm stressing honesty because I think that, that the relationships these people had were so honest. But I also thought it was really interesting because Cody was missing key pieces of information in, in, like, knowing about Meg. So when all these secrets blew up, it was like, did I really know this girl at all? So I thought, again, I thought that was super interesting um, as a story. But I really liked the character of Meg. Um, I liked her because... She was so damaged, I think, and again, I think this experience really will will have such an effect on her. But I think she really needed time to get over the death of Meg. So I think that was like, and you'll, and I don't know if anyone else noticed this. Because noticed when you guys were reading it, you rarely ever heard Cody's name. The book was all about Meg and all about Meg. So I would, it's like she really was like a character finding herself, but she didn't have herself yet. So she focused so much on Meg. Um... But yeah, I just thought it was a really, really interesting... I love everything... Like, I really wanted to read everything by Gail Foreman. I know I still need to read Where She Went, which is the sequel to If I Stay. So that's an, also a book on my list. And I also wanted to read her Every Day, Every Year series. Um, because I just like her. She writes, like, very, very short, compact books. At least the ones I've read so far. But they're really, really good. So, um, yeah, I just, I really liked it. I gave it five stars. Um, again, if you guys want, like, a spoiler review where I could, like, spoil you a little bit, let me know and I'll do it because this is kind of the book that needs to be a spoiler review, so I might actually do one for this maybe later in the week. 
But that is all my thoughts. As always, comment below, go on my Twitter, like my Goodreads, all that fun stuff. But I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!